بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور السلام علیکم مائی نیم از پاکیزہ سلیم اینڈ ٹوڈے ول بی اسٹڈنگ اباؤٹ دا ڈائیوڈ اپروکسیمیشن ناؤ دس از دا ٹاپک ول فائنڈ ان موسٹ آف دا انجینئرنگ کورسز اور ویئر ایور یو ول بی اسٹڈنگ اباؤٹ دا الیکٹرک سرکٹس رائٹ کمنگ ٹو دا لیکچر اوور ویو ویل اسٹڈی اباؤٹ دا تھری ڈائیوڈ ماڈلس دیٹ از دا آئیڈیل ڈائیوڈ ماڈل پریکٹیکل ڈائیوڈ ماڈل اینڈ کمپلیٹ ڈائیوڈ ماڈل اوکے سو فرسٹ لیٹس ریوائز دا بیسکس واٹ از اے پی این جنکشن ڈائیوڈ Uh, a two terminal semiconductor device that allows the flow of current in one direction only so diode is basically a semiconductor device which allows the flow of current in one direction only now this is p type substance and this is n type okay so uh, the p type semiconductor is called the anode side and the n type semiconductor is termed as the cathode side now by one di- by flow of current in one direction means current can either flow from anode to cathode or from cathode to anode right this is the symbol we use anode represents the positive side and cathode represents the negative side now uh, when we use diodes in circuits uh, now whenever we uh, use diodes in circuits we come across these kinds of graphs right Uh, so this uh, so this is the actual graph that we obtain when we use diodes and circuits whichever model we will be studying we'll compare the graph of that model with this graph okay so coming back to uh, yes so this will be the step 1 whenever we are going to analyze a circuit that involves a diode right forward bias mode is when the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the positive side of the diode right and reverse bias mode is when the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the anode side that is the positive side of the diode right now to our main topic basically we need diode modeling because diode is not a linear device like a resistor right so the sol- uh, so solving diode uh, circuits is not as simple as we do for linear device circuits for example resistors so we make some assumptions for our simplification and these assumptions are called diode models or basically diode approximations now as i mentioned in the lecture overview there are three types of models we'll be studying in this uh, in this video and uh, the first model is the ideal diode model now in this model we assume the diode to be working as a switch we know that there are two modes of operating a switch either the closed switch or an open switch right so uh, considering the forward bias mode now we'll study the forward bias and the reverse bias mode in each model right uh, considering the forward bias mode we model the diode as a closed switch now you can see that this is the actual circuit and in the forward bias mode when talking about the ideal diode model we have replaced the diode with a closed switch now whenever we come across a closed switch symbol just remember that the voltage drop across that component which is considered to be a closed switch is going to be zero and this is a rule right uh, so whenever a component is said to be short or uh, it is said to be acting as a closed switch the voltage drop across that component is always going to be zero so this represents that vf is equals to zero that is forward bias voltage drop across the diode is equals to zero so uh, by simple kvl equation we can find the cur- uh, we can find the voltage in the if this is the v bias voltage the v- voltage of the battery if uh, is v bias then uh, the equation will be v bias is equals to if which is the forward current flowing and into r okay so coming to the uh, reverse bias mode now in this reverse bias mode we model the diode as an open switch now whenever a switch is open it's like a component is removed from a circuit right so the circuit is not complete and whenever a circuit is incomplete the current throughout the circuit is going to be zero so here i have mentioned that reverse current is going to be zero since this is reverse bias mode so ir is equals to zero voltage that is across this uh, open terminal will be the voltage that is supplied by the battery right which is equals to v bias so here i have written vr which is the voltage across these two terminals is equals to v bias right now coming to the graphs now we uh, already studied in the previous slide that this is the actual curve when we use uh, diodes in real life circuits we get this type of curve right but from the ideal model we get, we got this type of curve you can see that uh, in the forward bias mode as we talk that there is no voltage drop across the diode so there is nothing along positive x axis and in the reverse bias mode the current is zero so there is nothing along the 
negative y-axis okay uh, okay so you can see that the graph in ideal diode model is very simple it's just two lines but is very very inaccurate as it is not similar to what actual graph looks like so we can move to the more accurate approximation but first let let's just solve one example okay so a, here a, we have given a circuit in which we have to find the current in the circuit right so first uh, as the as i mentioned that step one will be determining if the diode is getting forward biased or reverse biased so here we can see that the positive terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the diode so it is can is it is getting forward biased now now since the diode was getting forward bias according to the ideal diode model i'll replace the diode with a closed switch and the current will be determined by the equation that we studied which was v bias is equals to i f into r l different notations are used in different books as per the question but your concepts must be clear right so here i've done the same this is the RL value and uh, you have given the V bias value which is uh, here it is used as V in. So yeah, so we can easily determine the current in the circuit, right? Now you can see that the current he here is not represented by IF, it's represented by ID that is the diode current. Again, different notations for different books, right? Um, now moving on to the next model which is the practical diode model okay so in this model we model the diode as a closed switch and vf right we model the diode as a closed switch and vf now what is this vf vf is basically the barrier potential of the diode and it and it depends upon the material of which the diode is made okay so in the case of silicon the vf is going to be 0.7 volt but in case of germanium it's going to be 0.3 volt these values are going to be fixed uh, whenever you are using the practical diode model okay so the equation by kvl would be now here you can see that uh, since it is the forward bias mode i have replaced the diode with a closed switch and a vf now as i said the value of vf is going to be fixed so the equation would be V bias is equals to I F R limit plus V F or you can also say it V B. Okay, so uh, now the reverse bias mode, the reverse bias mode in practical diode model is same as what we have studied in the ideal diode model. Again, the switch will be open. All the voltage will be uh, uh, appearing along these two terminals of the battery, uh, along these two terminals, right? And the current in the circuit will be zero. So here you can see this is again the actual curve and this is the practical model curve. Now you can see that this is somewhere closer, somewhere, somewhere closer to the actual curve, right? Now this graph starts from 0.7. Why? Because it is plotted for silicon, right? And we have studied that for silicon VF is equals to 0.7 volt. So the graph is same as we studied in the ideal diode model. It was somewhere here along the X and Y axis. But uh, in practical diode model, it starts from 0.7 volt. If I make it for germanium, it will start from 0.3 volt. Okay. So now moving on to the more accurate uh, approximation, but first an example. Okay. So here we have. Uh, so now this is the same circuit. It is getting forward biased. But now I'll determine the current in the circuit by a practical diode approximation. Okay. So uh, again the diode is getting forward bias so we'll remove uh, we'll replace it with a closed switch and vf or vb so you can see that i have replaced it with a closed switch and vb and by the equation that i have made you studied in the forward bias mode that is v bias is equal to if r limit plus vf we'll use this equation here and we can find the id okay so now moving on to the forward bias model or oh, sorry complete diode model and this is the forward bias mode the, uh, you can see that the diode is getting forward bias now in this model we replace the diode with a closed switch with a closed switch a vf and an r dash d now r dash d is the internal resistance of the diode we can also call it as the as what as the AC resistance or the dynamic resistance of the diode, right? 
Now, since we have replaced it with the VB, R dash D and a close switch, now the equation will be V bias, which is getting distributed in three uh, components, VB, R, IF, R dash D and IF, R limit, okay? So the equation will be this for the forward bias mode and for the reverse bias mode, we'll model the diode as an open switch and an R dash D. So we'll replace the diode with a open switch and an R dash R or R dash D in parallel, right? So the, so the purpose of placing this resistor in parallel is that if you don't place this resistor, there'll be no current in the circuit. But we have seen in the actual curve, let me just take out the actual curve. Okay, so here was the actual curve. We have seen that there is actually some reverse current. It's not going to be zero when we are using the diode in actual uh, practical life. Uh, so there will be some uh, some reverse current and for this purpose, we have placed this R dash R or R dash D in parallel to the diode, right? Now the current path would be something like this, okay? So the current path would be something like this. Now, uh, the current in this case is not going to be zero. So V bias in this case will be equals to IR, that is the reverse current, R limit, limiting resistor, multiplied by limiting resistor plus IR into RR. That is the, uh, that is the internal resistance, right? Now, com uh, now coming to the curve. Now in the complete model, you can see that it is actually very very near to actual model but it is still not complete right so you can see that the slope appears due to forward uh, due to low forward dynamic resistance and you can still see the current that is ir small reverse current due to high reverse resistance right so you can see that even the complete model is not actually complete but that is the most uh, accurate model we'll study in this video now coming to the question uh, again now again i'll uh, replace this diode for the third approximation or the complete diode model i'll replace this diode with a since it is getting forward bias i'll replace it with a closed switch a vf and an r dash b or an r dash b right so v in or v bias is equals to vb or vf plus idrb this this one and idrl right and here, from here we can find the ID. Now you can see that the circuit was same, but from three different approximations, we got three different values of ID. From this approximation, we got 90.73. Um, from the second approximation, we got 93 milliampere. And uh, from the first approximation, we got 100 milliampere. So you can say that the value 93 90.73 is the most accurate one right since the model since the graph is most near to actual curve uh, one more thing you can add into this is that if the question was same but the terminals of the battery were opposite now if the question was same but the diode was getting reverse bias and if they asked the current in all three approximations for the ideal diode model the current would have been if the reverse bias for the reverse bias mode the current would have been zero for the practical diode model, again, the diode is replaced with a with an open switch, so the current is going to be zero. But for the third and the complete approximation model, we'll use this equation to find the reverse current, okay? So that's all we'll study for the video. Okay, video, I thank you.